So you're being investigated for Michael's murder? Yeah. Apparently the bullets they found match the ones in our closet. But where's the gun? I have no idea. But, you know, the police seem to think I got rid of the gun after I used it. Are you serious? Yeah. But Bradley says not to worry about it, that without the gun, they don't have much evidence. But I know it's only a matter of time before they arrest me. I wouldn't blame them. I mean, I did say in a room full of people that I wanted the man dead. I mean, half the people in the city wanted him dead, okay? But only one of us said it in a room full of people. <sighs> Mia, you know if you want to tell me something. Sean, I did not kill Michael. But I did have a private investigator follow him. I wanted to get enough evidence for a divorce. Okay, Deanna, Michael, private detectives. I can't believe this is happening. Trust me, me either. Okay, is there anything else I missed? Um, no. No, that, that's about it. I have got to get out of this place. How long are they trying to keep you? Two more weeks. They want me wow. to talk to a psychiatrist. I told them I'm gay, not crazy. Do you want to talk about that night? No, not really. Okay. Well, you look good. Well, that's the benefits of a coma. Who needs a day spa when you can self-induce a coma? <laughs> I see it hasn't affected your sense of humor. Mm, I guess not. What time is it? Um, oh, time's almost up. Mm, let's go before they come looking for me. I love you. <laughs> I love you too. Hey, I owe you my life. Speaking of which, not that I'm ungrateful, but how did you get in that night? Oh, the door was open. Was it? Mm hmm oh, I guess when I put the locks on. No, it was unlocked. Yeah. In any case, I'll see you and Selena tomorrow, right? Right. Okay, great. Uh, before I forget, that wall out front, mm -hmm. about how high do you think that is? Um, uh, about 20 feet? Why? Just curious. <laughs> Julian, it's Mia. How is he? He's fine. They have to keep him another two weeks, though. Did you tell him? No, I didn't. Thank you, Mia. I didn't do it for you, Julian. I know, but it's for the best. Sure it is. Okay, bye. Julian. Bye, Mia. I told you, stop worrying. You don't have to tell Andre anything. It's taken care of. It's not taken care of. You just have no idea. I can't live in fear this way. You'll get over it. You'll get over it in time. You don't know that. <sighs> I never should have agreed to this. Look, you didn't have a choice. We didn't have a choice. It was either this or jail. Look, what's done is done. There's no going back now. It's just something we both have to live with. I have to tell Andre, he's my husband. Chauncey, he deserves to know. And he deserves to know everything. He comes home now. The hell? Scott. Look, let's just sit down and talk about this rationally before we make any decisions, okay? Okay. What's going on? Ask her. Nicole? What's going on? Scott, I can't do this. I have to tell Andre. What? No, I thought we discussed this. You can't tell Andre. 
You can't tell anybody. Scott, listen. No, you listen. I'm not letting Selena go to jail. All right, so you need to keep your mouth closed and let this all blow over. What if it doesn't blow over? It will. You know, Nancy said that she doesn't remember anything. The car lights blinded her vision. So as far as she knows, she was a victim of a random hit and run. Now, I've been at her beck and call ever since that night to make sure that it stays that way. Not just for Selena, but for you as well. We're all accessories. But it's not right. It may not be right, but it's the way it's got to be. Believe me, I know how you feel. If it hadn't been for what I did with Nancy that night, none of us would be in this predicament. Hold on, hold on. If you want to blame anybody, blame me. If I not come along that night and move Selena's car, you and Selena might be in jail right now. And I wasn't going to let that happen to you recently. Look, all you have to do is be cool. You know, we're the only ones who know anything. He's right. There was no record of Selena's car being repaired, no record of you being treated. I took care of all that. Trust me. All right, I gotta go. Nancy's looking for me. All you have to do is just be cool. All right, this will be over before you know it. We're the only ones who know anything. All right, and if you need anything, you know where to find me. Okay? Look, I'm not gonna let anything happen to you. I'm just here to help. Lion bitch! Trust me. my husband. Always the good Samaritan. Too bad he isn't very thorough. You missed one, honey. Sorry, Ashley. Don't mention it. Hi, I'm Selena. Nice to meet you. I'm Ashley, and this is my husband, Brian. Hi. Hi. Well, once again, thank you both. Anytime. It gave me a reason to come and meet you. Excuse me? <laughs> What I meant was, we just moved in and haven't had an opportunity to meet any of our neighbors, as of yet. Oh, well, I know the feeling. <laughs> Honey, why don't you go and finish unpacking some of the boxes? Okay. Bye. Bye. Once again, thank you. So, you moved into the Greasons' house? Yes. Did you know them? I did. Oh. Uh, such a tragedy. Here today and gone tomorrow. Yeah, so very true. Too bad her husband didn't fix the oven before he moved away. Poor dear. He must have still been in mourning. But hey, that's what you get when you buy a home as is, right? Very, that, that's true. Well, um, let me invite you over to dinner. Why don't you and your husband come over to dinner maybe tomorrow? Oh, you don't have to do that. We wouldn't want it in polls. Oh, it wouldn't be an imposition at all. Um, I could kind of use the company, so. That would be nice. I accept. Great, so 6.30? Perfect. Oh, thank you. You don't know how much this means to me. Okay, well, it's nice meeting you. And you thank you again. No, thank you. Bye. I'm looking forward to it. you find? I think I know where she going, dog. Mm. What you wanna do? Go get the car. I think we need to pay DC a visit. When did 
did you get here? Earlier. Oh, well, why didn't you call me? I would have picked you up from the airport. I wanted to surprise you. Aren't you surprised? Yes, I am. Oh. How are you now? Of course. Let me show you how much. Uh. Uh, you know what? I'm not really feeling this right now, so just step aside, my take a shower. Yeah, you know, I'm not really feeling this. So. <laughs> LaShawn, what are you doing here? I'm moving to D.C. Can I stay with you? <laughs> I can't believe that this is really happening to me. Mia, nothing is happening to you. You're being investigated. Like I told you, if they don't have the gun, they really don't have a case. It still doesn't change the way people are looking at me. People are on edge throughout the city. Especially with the serial killer running around. Once the investigation is over, you can go back to your normal life. <laughs> normal. Bradley, after this is all over, I don't think my life will ever be normal. Look, I will always be known as the woman who may have killed her husband. What man in his right mind would want to deal with that? A man like me. Bradley, I'm serious. So am I. Mia, you are so beautiful. So, so beautiful. Bradley, I, I don't know what to say. Shh. You don't need to say anything. There's a reasonable explanation for this. Believe me, there is. But right now, I need about $500. And I need to borrow your car for a few days. Tell me you didn't. Oh, but I did. Did you escape? Well, it's not like I was in jail, Mia. I don't belong in that place. I ain't crazy. You scaled a 20-foot wall, ran at least 15 miles to get to my house, and you just crawled through my window. Right. You're not crazy. Mia. Oh. Is everything OK? Yeah, everything's fine, Bradley. Can we finish this tomorrow? Sure. Call me later. Oh, well. Hmm. Let me find out. Find out what? I mean, Mia, you could have told me you were having an affair. I am not having an affair. Mm-hmm. Really? Then why is he wearing your lipstick? Okay, you know what? Hey, I give you credit. Not too many people would let their little jump off come to the same event that their husband was at. He is not my little... Wait. What event? Selena's event. Probably wasn't at the party. He was out of town. No, he wasn't. I ran into him in the parking lot when I was leaving. You know, if you put it that way, I could always get the gun from our bedroom closet and shoot him in his sleep. You? Mia. I love you. Mia, what's going on? You killed Michael? Mia. I love you. I heard you when you said you wanted him dead. I just want to make you happy. We can be together now. 
Well, all right then. Um, I think I should go back to the hospital. Um, why don't you take me? Wait, <laughs> you're not going anywhere. <gasps> Sam! No! This wasn't supposed to have happened! I had plans! I had plans! And it was all wrong. Why did you have to come here anyway? Bradley, just calm down. You don't want to hurt anyone. Don't tell me what I don't want to do! You made me love you! Yeah, you did! And I killed for you! I didn't tell you to do You're that! You're a liar! You're a liar! How else were we going to be together? Let's go. Get up, man. Let's go! Get over here! I'm not going anywhere. Longer. Oh, four more hours. Hey, what's the plan when we get there? Man, this bitch tried to cut me like a fish. <laughs> I think it's only fair I return the favor. Yeah,